In today's video we take a closer look at the Reich Thor 3. That's knife collector here. Thanks for tuning in, my name is Henk. The Reich Thor 3 provided by Knives and Tools, links in the description box. It's a very big folding knife, high quality and expensive. 569 euro for this knife, but it's an integral and made from the highest quality materials uh, you can imagine right now. M390 blade steel, TC4 full titanium frame, ceramic bearings, so very premium materials and then an integral and an integral it means that the frame is milled out of one solid piece of titanium and that is very hard to do it needs a lot of milling and then this one needs additional milling because of all the milled out pockets cutouts uh, to reduce weight so an expensive knife but for the people who have high demands on folding knives for collecting purposes or just want to carry the best quality possible in their pockets it's a 22.5 centimeter overall length or 8.85 inch 9.5 cm blade or 3.75 inch, 138 gram or 4.87 ounce and I want to mention that's pretty special for an integral because of the milling out of one solid piece most of the times integrals are a bit heavier. The titanium they use is TC4 and then the M390 blade steel Reich calls this a sheep's foot blade, but I would call it more a kind of hybrid between sheep's foot, draw point and maybe even tanto because of the angle the blade makes. Uh, ceramic bearings, so very high premium quality materials. The blade has a very nice bead blasted high flat grind with uh, a milled out portion here. Nice swatch, very nice lines. By the way, it is very sharp. Big finger choil, jimping on top. Here you can see the model name, Tor 3. This number of the knife. And this is the steel. So not a lot of information on the blade itself. Flipper design. Light switch. push button and then the frame so the solid piece of titanium <coughs> with lots of details here you can see the grinding lines chamfered everything is round off even contoured a lot of details too much to tell it all provides a lot of grip a lot of weight reduce very special for an integral is the pocket clip is uh, can also be attached on the other side on the presentation side for the lefties lanyard hole very nice pivot with the logo This portion here is used to 
uh, put in the parts, the bearings for the pivot mechanism. No backspacer, of course, no uh, standoffs, but it's all one solid piece of titanium. A nice uh, landing zone for your finger, so it doesn't hurt. Big stop in. Blade tang is nicely round off for force distribution. Clip also titanium, lot of tension and a, a ball bearing for easier in and out of the pocket sliding. And as mentioned, a lot of details. Here the pivot uh, part is also over travel stop and of course it has a steel insert to prevent lock stick. Lock up I think it's 10%. So a lot of time left to travel to the right. Centering is dead on. No blade play, super smooth action, good de detent, this is a very good quality knife, fit and finish, outstanding. I think Rijk is on par with the quality of Riyad and Wii knife, so very good quality, but then again this knife will cost you 569 euro and you have to decide for yourself if it's worth it um, I think it is a lot of work to manufacture these kind of knives with all these details Ergos pretty good in the forward grip. The only thing um, in the forward grip my thumb is not that comfortable. Uh, that's because of the ramp. So my thumb is not that comfortable. In the regular grip my thumb is very comfortable but then I have a few spots I feel and that's this portion this portion is pretty square, I feel it, but other than that pretty good. Draw cut grip, very good, no spots. And then in the reverse grips, a uh, reverse grip, very good, I don't feel anything. So. I like the, possi the, the, the possibility, the feature of the forward grip because you get a lot of control over the knife in the forward grip. So I would, I w uh, my my preference would have been that this ramp was flat. That's my only critique. But then again. It just uh, I'm just looking for some negative because it's an expensive knife and then for such a amount of money the knife needs to be perfect in my opinion and it's close to perfection so no argument about that it's a very good quality great fit and finish premium materials so no discussion but just nitpicking about the ergos. I could also use the forward grip like this and then my thumb is comfortable but I would like my thumb on this place, on this spot. So, just knife comes 
in a nice pouch. This pouch we also know from Wee Knife, lined with some teddy and two pockets. In the pouch a microfiber cleaning cloth, always very nice. And then a very nice feature is the leather pouch. If you want to carry your knife and protect it in your pocket for scratching, damaging, dust, you can slide it in this leather pouch and slide the pouch in your pocket. Uh, it even gives you the possibility to remove the pocket clip. Uh, I like these kind of pouches. And here you can see it fits in snug. Very nice. So the Reich Thor 3. Uh, links in the description box. All that remains are some pictures. That's it for now. Bye bye.